Volumes. In this chapter we will look at various types of volume calculations including stockpile volumes, multiple stockpile volumes, dam capacity and surface comparison. For our stockpile volume we're going to create a new project using the 12D model icon. We select new. We browse to the survey folder, go down into the volumes folder and click on select folder. For the project name we're going to type in stockpile and select new. For the volumes jobs we won't be requiring any setup in the setup project details panel so we select finish and we won't be using the recalc panel so again we can just close the panel down. We'll be working in plan view 1 so this time instead of importing a file we'll be just performing a drag and drop so we'll just maximize plan view 1 we're going to locate the file by using the Explore Project button. This will open up the working folder. We then go up to the Volumes folder and we select the file Stockpile Existing Surface. So we can hold the left button down and drag into View 1 it will then automatically open up the input panel and we're going to type in original for the prefix for the data original space click read and finish so these points represent points on the ground prior to the stockpile being created so we're just going to perform a triangulation of these points we select the option TIN, create, triangulate data. The function name will be TIN original, enter. The TIN name will be called original, again press enter. We then go to the data tab. We select the view icon and select view 1. Alternatively, as they are all just in one model, we could have chosen the model name. The nulling can be set up so that it just does a length of 50 meters. We're not going to worry about a boundary for this triangulation. So we click triangulate and before we exit the panel just go and turn on that model and toggle on the contours just to check there are no holes in the job. OK, we can finish on this panel now. We're now going to bring in the stockpile surface. So here we can just turn this data off in this view. Again, we're going to open up the working folder. Go up to volumes. And this time we drag and drop the stockpile file. We're going to give this a prefix, spile, space, and select read. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've just brought in. Let's have a look at the model list. So we have stockpile surface, stockpile surface points, and the stockpile tin stockpile. Now in this case the actual prefix is put in front of the stockpile name, but we did have the ability if we wanted to not do that. So that's okay, we can leave it as it is. Before we start looking at a volume, it's very important that the stockpile surface sits inside the other surface. The easiest way to check this is just to turn on the original tin. And we'll just go back, toggle off the contours. Okay, so you can see the stockpile sits inside the other surface. If it didn't, the volume would only be calculated where the two surfaces coincided. Okay, so we're going to do the volume using a number of methods. The first method will be the exact method. 
So we select the option Volumes, Exact, 10 to 10. The original 10 will be our original. The new 10 is Stockpile. We're going to create a report file which will just be called Stockpile Volume. We're going to use a polygon to specify the area of the volume calculation. So we select the pick icon and pick out on the edge of the stockpile. That should highlight a string with the name SF Toe. Accept and we can select volume. So here the volume is 17,573. We've also got a polygon plan area which is always a very good check if you wanted to do a manual calculation it's just a matter of the actual polygon area times the average depth should give you an approximate volume check. Okay so we finished on this volume calculation the next volume calculation will be done by end area so this is done using volumes end area 10 to 10 Again we pick the two surfaces, we select original tin which is original, the new tin which is stockpile and we put an angle in so that it's at right angles to the main axis of the pile. So we're just going to type in 135 degrees. We put in a distance so depending on the distance you put in it will um, be more accurate obviously if you have a smaller distance but we'll just do 10 for the moment. We can also generate um, cross section lines over the different surfaces. So where it says original tin sections we're just going to type in XS original and for the new tin sections XS space stockpile. We clean the models beforehand, so you always do that when you're performing this calculation. Again we pick the, the polygon around the edge of the stockpile. We can give it a report file. What we're going to do is we're going to pick the previous report file and append to the bottom. We're doing a summary method and we're using average end area. Select volume and we're going to append. So if we scroll down we had our original calculation of 17,573 and now we got 17,351. Now the exact method is more accurate if you wanted to get the end area closer to that it would be just a matter of decreasing the distance between sections but the 10 meters here is a good approximation. The good thing about this system is we can now actually have a look in a section view at our section slices through the stockpile. So we'll finish on this option. We're going to use our section view excess. So we select that view and we're going to place this on the right. So we use right half and our plan view 1 will be on the left half. If we turn off our tins in plan view 1 and we'll turn on our excess stockpile model so you'll see our cross section through the stockpile. In our section excess view we're going to turn on the two tins and we're going to change the vertical exaggeration to 2 and we select the profile icon and we're going to pick on one of our section lines and here we have a cross-sectional slice of the stockpile in the plan view 1 you can see the corresponding little cross going across the section that we're looking at and we can use the arrow keys to move backwards and forwards. So this is a very good way of actually checking the shape of the stockpile.